Welcome to the next question in the series of videos, the five questions all entrepreneurs need to consider when starting a small business. I hope you're enjoying the five part series and we'll dive in to the next question. So what have we looked at in the last 20 minutes? Well, we've looked at the top five questions every entrepreneur needs to ask about starting a small business, but has been afraid to ask. We looked at the business expenses, the fact that there are mobile apps, that there are software, but ultimately there are the accountants and there's us, the accounting translator using let the numbers decide concept. We also looked at what was called the status of your business and how what type of business you might want to set up, whether it be a self-employed, self-proprietor, whether you might move to have some escort pass through, therefore, again, protecting yourself a little bit from uh, some of the tax regimes, moving ultimately to an LLC where you're going to have limited liability um, protection. But again, it's important to understand that all three stages have benefits and all three stages have, um, light, have um, negative points. Then we looked at what we like to call that there's an accountant for that, the accountant versus the app process, what's allowable, what's not allowable. And really the only people who can help you with that is a person because the rules change. Um, accounting software will just accept what you tell it. If you think it's claimable and you claim it, it's not going to challenge you. Um, that's where here at Miles Better and letting the numbers decide um, is going to be able to help you. And then we talked about working from home and that there were three different methodologies. The simplified method, uh, which is by far the most straightforward and least um, problematical, and some of the other no-nos when you're trying to claim. And then finally, we looked at the tax authorities and the fact that the three key points there were that December 31st is your year end, April 15th is the tax, tax day, and remember as a sole trader, the dreaded self-employment tax, the double tax in some places, needs to be put aside and needs to be, um, uh, yeah, needs to be set aside, I'm sorry, excuse me. So I hope you've enjoyed that, la that sort of quick overview of the top five questions every entrepreneur needs to ask when starting a business. But I did promise you at the front um, that I would be offering some free eBooks uh, and some other information. And what I would love to do um, is actually just tell you a little bit more about what we do here and what we would like to help you with. All right. So I'm really excited to let you know about our latest online course, um, affectionately known as Let the Numbers Decide. This six week course will help you launch or grow your business by letting the numbers decide rather than the normal fake it till you make it approach. Each module will build to allow you to start by drafting the blueprint to success where we'll explore the foundations needed to launch or grow your business, covering the building blocks, the mindset and the necessary research and study. Moving through cutting the ribbon as we as we launch the business in the first few months and support the concepts with the powerful decision machine, where we'll use the three secret documents of business I will reveal. Then we look at sweating the numbers and assets and oiling the machine to ensure continued success as an entrepreneur, finally coming to the big question as what is next, a section we're calling building the empire. This course will include uh, bonuses, groups, um, coaching sessions, and additional material worth over six and a half thousand pounds and more if you take some of the upgrade options. So as I said, as I promised at the beginning, please also enjoy two eBooks when you drop your email in as, as both a thank you for listening to this presentation and also as a start of the course. The first is the Accounting Translator Guide to Business, a plain speaking approach to the terms used in accounting, the language of business. The second is a 10 step overview of launching a business and will whet your appetite for the course. Don't put off till someday the chance to launch or grow your business and I thank you for your time and interest and we hope you have a miles better life.